Eva are back with another action figure review. Today we're looking at the Dragon Ball Super Dragon Star Series Final Form Cell. On the side of the box, we have the graphic image. We're getting straight into it. On the back box, we get the rest of the wave. So this is the second half of this wave. They call this Series 9. They call this Series 10. They always Each series is a, a group of three figures, but they, they always release them at a group of six so that's the wave to me on the side of the box we have the graphic image we're getting straight into it on the back box we get the rest of the wave so this is the second half of this wave they call this series 9 they call this series 10 they always each series is a, a group of three figures but they, they always release them at a group of six so that's the wave to me Anyways, links are down below in the description if you guys were interested in picking up this figure. There's a link to Big Bad Toy Store down below where you can grab one yourself. Alright, so first impressions on Cell, he definitely is better than Android 17. This one's one of their better figures. It looks good for Dragon Stars. I like the nice vibrant green and purple colors. So the colors is done right. The, uh, the design here with these spots, that's also done right. Um, and the sculpt looks good for them. Not bad at all. So handing it to them on this one for Dragon Stars. This is pretty good. Uh, he only comes with a pair of open hands, which is our standard open hands that every single figure gets. The same pose in all. Here it is. Then we get the fist on the figure. That's all we get. So no build a figure here. As for his articulation, the head swivels left and right. So it looks good. Uh, it's not going to move up because of the the head and just the way they articulate the neck and the head it's just not going to work down is not going to work either looks like the neck is articulated but it really isn't it's just stationary there the arms are going to go forward and back in and out just fine normally on the sh figures version we get a shoulder um this black shoulder piece is hinged it's a separate piece but it's not really necessary here you can still move the arm forward and back in and out there is a bicep swivel that's well hidden there there's a double jointed elbow swivel at the wrist with a hinge we get a diaphragm looks like there is a diaphragm joint yeah swivels at the waist more so uh, the diaphragm joint really doesn't do much there but all the movement is thanks to the waist for the legs the legs go forward about this far, but it does kick out at an angle there, just the way it is. If you go too much, the leg will pop off like that. So keep that in mind. There is a thigh. Is there a thigh? Is there? No, not really. I mean, nah. If there is, it really doesn't move. And if it will move, it's going to pop off. Get back in there. Okay. So double jointed knees. There goes the back wing. Hey. Uh, double jointed knees but it seems to be only bending at a 90 degree bend here and then we have the hinged ankles a pivot a swivel there as you see it popped off but you can easily pop it back in this also popped off on me while I was taking the figure out the package they're on hinges here which they don't move too far back but it does move a little bit and then you can move it forward and that's it or else it will pop off all right, so next to the SH Figuarts version of Perfect Cell, this is actually the most recent release or colorway or color variation, which is from the World Tour, I believe. Tamashi World Tour exclusive. So it's got the blue colors, almost like the manga. I think this is the manga colored version. Um, the Dragon Stars version is more of the premium color edition. We had a regular release, we had a premium color edition, and we had this edition here for SH Figures. We had three different editions. Um, but right now, my premium color edition is out of reach at the moment. I am uh, moving stuff around, packing stuff up, and uh, I, I can't get to that one. But I can get to this the same sculpt, same height, same everything, just the color is um, it's different, of course, here. But... As always, uh, we got the figure arts version scaling shorter by a little bit. Uh, we do get some more articulation on the figure arts version. We get the extra faces and hands and all that. Um, it really is no comparison when it comes to that department or any department, honestly, uh, when, when it's figure arts versus Dragon Stars. But I compare it anyways because it's the closest thing we got to compare these figures to. Um, that being said, 
next to this figure, I mean, this is not that bad at all. This looks good for Dragon Stars. Not bad. Um, not bad at all. All right, and I'm trying to make Andrew 17 look good here. I'm trying to pose him cool or whatever. But this is the Dragon Stars Android 17, the one I just reviewed recently. Check it out if you haven't. And uh, that's how he stands up next to him. So good height, I guess. And, you know, when it's Dragon Stars versus Dragon Stars. But you don't want to scale these figures next to your figures, figures I'd say. Because they're just not in scale. All right, so we got Goku, Saiyan Rays on Earth. This is the SH Figures version, of course. I mean, what do you think that was? And then our figure arts, Vegeta. Next to some randoms here, we have the Mezco 112 Collective Blade and the SH Figure Arts Avengers Infinity War Black Widow. So that's about it for the review of this perfect cell by Dragon Stars. I'm trying to get him into a Kamehameha pose. It's very difficult with these figures. That's one of their, their uh, cons is just um, the posing. It's very difficult to pose these figures. It's just, I don't know. I mean, it's got articulation, but at the same time, they're very hindered, at least with this cell and some of the other figures. I don't know. But, um, but yeah, it's okay. It's a decent figure. It's not bad. And so that was a pretty good pickup, I'd say. All right, guys, that's it. Before I keep going, this is the Bandai of America Dragon Stars Perfect So Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already. This weird Kamehameha wave pose. Um, but as always, uh, have a great day. Bye.